So I would want to calm down the children. But we are very prepared. They should ignore all the rumors they are hearing that uh, there shall be problems with exams, in, in, specifically with the uh, uh, children who are in the, uh, the, the violent prone areas. The government has taken firm action to ensure that every child will be uh, will have a, a, an exam administered to him or her at the appropriate time with the utmost security that the government of the Republic of Kenya can give. I would also want to disabuse the minds of the people. That exam has not leaked. Of course, the cartels are there and they are doing their business as usual. But uh, if you want to do business with them, then that's your, your, your own business. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, us being prepared for grade six, I think it is now uh, true that all the books have been delivered to all schools in preparation for grade six in May. Uh, in terms of uh, teachers, the teachers were trained early uh, in December. In terms of the assessments that shall be done for them, the assessments are ready. So the fact that there is going to be a transition in government does not matter. The fact that me and my team shall not be there does not really matter. The children are very really well taken care of as per the constitution. In terms of uh, CBC being there or not, I think that's an issue that uh, Kenyans will, will decide as time goes on. Because from my personal perspective, as a, as a professor who has uh, worked in the education sector for a long enough time, I think it is the, it's one of the most important legacies that uh, His Excellency the President is going to leave to his people. Because we are basically taking back our children, bringing them back into the family, and positioning them back into the society to be productive like they were 40 years ago. Because CBC is basically learner oriented it, it uh, and skills the child in the university of life and it's not exam oriented as the outgoing curriculum.